So this is vlog episode zero. Um, this is the introduction to the vlog itself. So just going to kind of tell you what you can expect to see in this episode and what you can expect to see in this series and um, tell you a little bit about myself. So my name is Rachel G, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> I am a dance music producer and DJ. I am 21 years old and I kind of suck, but that's okay, because we all get better. It's all a work in progress. You're kind of like that. Anyway, so in this series, it'll be kind of like a general music and life blog. So I bounce around topics a lot in conversation. So like, we're just going to imagine that you are a friend of mine, because you're all friends of mine. And uh, you walked up to me and said, what's up, Rachel? What's going on in your life? Okay? Okay. So, just whatever's kind of on my mind, then. Um, this will lag behind. I don't know if it'll be, it'll lag behind a week, or if it'll lag behind two weeks, but this will give me a week of, week or two of leeway, of, like, oops, I screwed up, and skipped one, or what have you. Um, so I will always have one, and I might actually go back further, but I, I, a little leery about going like recording these a month in advance or something that'd be crazy so I think it's just gonna be um, a week or maybe two so you'll see this on June uh, 16th or 17th because it was the 8th when I started recording and now it's the 9th <laughs> it's only been like 10 minutes it's okay um, and uh, so it'll be like the 16th or 17th or the 22nd or 23rd when you finally see this. I haven't decided yet. And that will give me time to edit and record other videos and do other things with my life. So I will talk about, I might talk about what I'm working on or free stuff you guys can expect to see, wink, or what have you. Hopefully you've subscribed. And if you haven't, you should. Hit that like button also, please. Please, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, so, I want to talk to you about what I kind of do musically. And so right now, I actually have... How many do I have? Six, maybe seven um, original tracks that are in the works and two to three of them are finished. Anyway, so it's actually primarily all electronic. Um, my main thing, even recently, like the stuff I have posted on SoundCloud, which at the time of this video being recorded is way more than a year old at the newest, um, is like punk and grunge plus dance music fusion thing what I'm going for. Um, um, right now I'm having some software issues but once I get those remedied I intend to release those tracks once a month for free every month for the rest of the year hopefully from whenever I can actually get that started again. Um, <laughs> it may be a while. <laughs> hmm. Yeah anyway so I write electronic dance music I produce with Ableton Live 9 and I play guitar, bass, sing, rap, uh, write lyrics obviously because who has money for a lyricist am I right? <laughs> um, and I also do some other stuff I guess. We'll show that to you later. Or not. Who knows? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe this will be like the Antichrist and Supernatural and you'll never hear about it again. Who knows? I don't. <laughs> Watch, CW is going to sue me over that. Anyway, so I also DJ. I digitally DJ right now with a software called Mix, M-I-X-X-X, -X -X, three X's. Pretty cool open source software. Um, the newest version at the time of this recording is uh, 2.0 and it's um, not very old, I don't think. 
Um, and they seem to have like picked up steam from like how they were going, because it was version 1.11 I think for a while, like years. But anyway, um, it's open source, so you can actually edit it yourself. Um, I've heard that there's some trouble with MIDI mapping, but there was a MIDI mapping already available for my controller, the Hercules RMX, the original. Um, so, not a problem for me. Like, not even a little. It also has DVS support, which I plan on incorporating later. Um, as you can see behind me, my studio is a fucking train wreck. Um, as I build the studio, I'm also selling stuff on eBay right now. And you can catch my video about selling and buying gear on eBay right here. Ta-da! So, um, yeah. So, I'm doing that primarily so I can uh, buy some more software because, holy crap, that's expensive. <laughs> um, support my music buying habits, which is, holy crap, that's expensive. <laughs> and uh, also to um, acquire a pair, set of turntables that hopefully will allow me to grab some tractor control vinyl because um, mix M-I-X-X-X again can use any just about any um, control vinyl control service there's a list somewhere and I will post a link to the mix website in the description and it's pretty dang cool um, anyway so I'll be able to use that and then eventually I hope to move into tractor but software's expensive, yo. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, so primarily, I'm waiting to do or buy anything special until I'm done putting this mess together, which means that you guys are going to get even more videos um, because I'm kind of liking this whole vlog thing. It's nice. I like it. So, um,. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. What else? I have my first gig in more than, like, six years. Yeah, more than six years. On the 22nd of June, 2017. And I am absolutely terrified. I have new software. I have a weird set. I'm opening for a single indie guitar singer songwriter, guitarist singer songwriter guy. I am terrified. His music is good. My set list is even good. I've practiced it a million times. I had to make a set list because I just. I had to have music that would go with his music, basically. I mean, I'm going to feel out the crowd, and if they're not feeling the house, I'm going to swap it for something else. I have a couple of things that I decided to swap it, but, so, I mean, I'll still be able to read the crowd and do what they want to do, but, you know, crowd being, like, probably, like, 10 or 15 people that are going to show up, but, if anybody does. But, you know, you should treat every performance like it's a huge performance, like you have an audience of 10,000, you know what I mean? Um... That's just consistency. But, uh, yeah, so I'm absolutely terrified. I'm really scared it's not going to go well. I'm really scared that it's going to shoot me in both feet at the same time for trying to gig in that city again. Because I live in a small rural, rural town. Rural, rural. And it's basically the middle of nowhere. The closest town is an hour away, and it has 60,000 people in it. 60,000. That's it. And it's not like there's a major metropolitan area 10 minutes next to it. No. The next closest large city is two hours away. That's two hours one way. And its population is about 60,000 also, coincidentally. Um, there's a difference of like 5,000 in between the two, and the one that's closer to me right now is a little bit bigger. Um, anyway, and I don't know that many people. It's a long drive. I can usually only go like once or twice a month if I'm really, really lucky. I don't have a vehicle of my own. I have one, 
but it barely runs and it's a piece of junk. So, I don't trust it to make that trip. I had to make an hour drive trip the other direction to another small rural town and it barely made it. It was scary. I thought my truck was going to die. So, I am really worried about shooting my chances of scoring gigs in this town because it is the only town I have for options. I would have to... I don't even know how I would manage to get all the way down to the next closest city if I shot myself in the foot by making a bad reputation for Rachel G, the brand, in that first closest city. It would be a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. So, yeah, I'm pretty scared. That's a pretty, pretty, um, um, extreme situation. I mean, I'm having to treat this larger city like my hometown because, well, this small town that I live in, there's not really a market for dance music. I guess I could go play at a bar. Mind you, this is a bar that maybe has like two or three customers in it at once when it's busy. At the busiest bar in town. Yeah, so I'm scared. And at the same time, I'm also hopeful for the future because if it goes well, that could be great. That could be fantastic. That could open all kinds of doors car doors and screen doors and sliding glass doors and all kinds of doors storm doors I guess that's a screen door screen door it's a scream door it's one of those doors to, that like creaks really loud when you open it yeah <laughs> huh this video is gonna be awkward when I edit it anyway um I guess that about wraps up where I'm at right now. I'm just trying to get my social media junk in order. I'm trying to get my life junk in order. And it's all a work in progress. So hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't so you can catch the next one. And I'll catch you later.